So my name is Jake. I'm currently a first year at the University of Sussex. And would you like to say your hometown? Uh, so I'm from Brighton originally, where Sussex Uni is. Um, and yeah, I've, I've lived there my, my whole life. Okay, so what course are you currently studying at the moment? Um, so I'm doing economics and management. Um, so three of the modules are all economics based and then you've got a business management module in there as well. And why did you choose your course? Um, I think economics is quite relevant to a lot of aspects of life and sort of explains how a lot of things work um, in terms of money and things like that. Um, and I've always been quite interested in personal finance and other aspects of finance. Um, and that's part of the reason why I set up my YouTube channel. Um, and I really enjoyed doing it at A-level. Um, and it didn't feel like a chore. So that's why I decided to do it at uni as well. And could you tell us, what is Student Money Hacks? Um, so Student Money Hacks is a YouTube channel I've set up in the last month. Um, aimed at student financing. Um, I came across a stat um, about a week ago, uh, sorry, about a month ago, um, saying that four-fifths of UK students worried about their money situation. Um, and I think it doesn't need to be like that. Um, and there's a lot of myths that comes with student loans and stuff like that. Um, so I've made it my mission to... Um, help all the students with their money, um, explain what actually goes on um, and hopefully put everyone at ease. Okay, so with your course, what do you yep. think of it so far? You said you're in your first year and you said, yep. what have you, so what have you thought about your course so far at studying your course at Sussex? Um, so um, we, we've got exams next, next week, so I've, learn all the content um, for the year um, and I think if you're thinking about studying economics at Sussex um, it, it, I've, I've really enjoyed this first year um, I think it could have been maybe more challenging in some respects because it's quite similar uh, to what you learn at A level um, especially in the first semester um, but I think that's just to ease you into university life um, and some of the modules coming up in the second and third year, they, they look really interesting. Um, so I, I would definitely recommend it um, and not to be scared um, of doing it because they do ease you in quite nicely, I think, in the first year. Okay. So did you come from a college or sixth form background? Um, so, yeah, I went sixth form in Brighton. Um, I did economics, biology and maths. Um so yeah. sort of random random okay. subjects really did those subjects help um, you with your course yeah um so obviously economics has a direct link um with what i'm doing at uni um and then this year hasn't been too mathematical uh but there is quite a bit of maths in economics but it's not overwhelming um and then biology hasn't really helped but there is a lot of sort of hypothesis testing in that subject, which you do do in economics. Um, so that has been useful in a few a few ways. Okay, and what do you think the best A levels slash subjects are for your course? Um, if you want to go into economics, I definitely recommend doing economics. That certainly helps, although it's not essential, but it does definitely help. Um, and then also maths as well. And then I probably. If I had to go back and do it again, do business as opposed to biology, um, that gives you sort of a more real world context to the economics you're learning. Um, so, yeah, I'd probably go for those three. Okay. So, let's talk about Sussex University. What are yeah. the best and worst things about going to your university? And we'll start off with the worst. Um, so, I think the worst thing at Sussex is if you're living on campus I think you can be it can feel sort of quite isolated um so Sussex is University of Sussex is branded as being sort of in Brighton you're in the heart of Brighton that sort of thing but it is about 30 minutes away on the bus and I know that's not a lot but 
the campus is quite big. Uh, if you're living on campus, you can sort of get stuck there in a way. Um, so you go go to all your lectures, all your seminars there. There's a few bars on that there as well. Um, and I think, especially in sort of lockdown era, uh, there's 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 a few drawbacks to it. Um, but you, you might like that sort of campus lifestyle, but I don't think it's for me. Okay, and what do you think the best things are about Sussex University? Um, so the best thing about Sussex, I um, there's a wide range of students there, um, and you meet people you, you'd never thought you'd meet there. Um, there's a lot of students that go there. Um, so many societies you can join. Um, and it, because of that campus atmosphere that I said was a little bit of a drawback, it is also a positive in this respect and in, in that there's so many people always on campus, um, and you get to meet and socialize everyone okay. and it's so, a real sort of community feel. So if we go into accommodation, where did yeah. you live in your first year? At um, so last year I did a foundation year, um, because I didn't. I messed up my maths A-level a little bit. Um, so I had to do that foundation year in order to get onto the course that I'm currently doing. Um, and in that year, I lived on campus. Um, in It was it was called Lewis Court, and it was one of the cheaper ones. Uh, and I, for anyone thinking of staying there, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, Why? It's outdated. Um our boiler was down for six months, so we had no hot water. And I don't know, I don't know how you fix a boiler, but I can. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to do it in quicker than six months. Um, but yes, yeah, so I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend Lewis Court. Um, I think it's definitely worth um, paying a little bit extra for some of the nicer places, like there's Northfield, Swanborough, uh, and my mates that lived in those places i think had a better experience while being there okay and what do you think the best essex like sussex university is the best sorry the best accommodation sorry the best accommodation um i think uh it's a place called northfield uh which is sort of the furthest away you can get from all the uh lecture theatres but that they've been recently refurbished and you're right uh you're right by the down so you can go for runs and walks it's right out your back doorstep if you're into sort of the countryside and that sort of thing um and there's six people to a dorm uh so you get a good good mix of people without there being too many like in some of the other ones where in lewis court you get about 12 people and i think that's just sort of too much and a bit overwhelming when you first go into um uni okay so if we go more into the sussex area you mentioned that you lived there before so you had a good yeah. idea for someone who's never been to sussex what are the best things to do in sussex um so yeah you, like i said you're half an hour away from brighton um right by the seafront um so you got um all, all of that to look forward to in summer um all of the outdoors sort of things and then where the Sussex campus is, you're also right in the heart of the South Downs. Um, so you've got all, all of that um, country, countryside right right by you. Um, and there's also quite a good um, nightlife as well in Brighton. There's lots of clubs, lots of bars, um, lots of things to do. Uh, you definitely won't be bored. Um, What's the club? Sorry? What's the club to go to? The club? Uh, well, it's... A hotly debated subject but I mean you the biggest one is probably prism um, not my personal favorite um, but you've also got a lot the seafront clubs uh, which are right on the seafront they're probably the best you've got sort of all mixtures of music along there so you you got the arch coalition um, which do all sorts of different things so yeah I'd, I'd recommend going to any of those down there and what, how many, are there a lot of, have you got your basic shops or have you got loads of different local shops? 
um yeah again you've got a great mix of that sort of thing so you've got your uh, churchill square which is sort of a shopping uh center with all the usual things you'd expect to see in a city so all the big name brands kind of thing and then you've also got the lane shopping area which is sort of independent more indie type shops um if if that's what you prefer so you've got you've definitely got a great mix of shopping outlets and what about the food variety is there a lot, is there a lot the same kind of i thing when it comes to food um again you've got a, there's a lot of options uh food wise uh and uh i think it definitely ap- appeals to students in that respect um you can hop on delivery or uber eats and sort of get anything ordered to you anytime um you got yeah every everything you could want really in terms of food okay so you spent you briefly mentioned societies have you done yeah. any societies yourself um this year i didn't um just just for a few reasons but next year um i i am planning to join join at least a couple um athletics and um there's also an economics one as well that I, I want to join hey so obviously you said you went from sixth form to university yeah why did you not go why did you not choose an apprenticeship slash going right into work why did you go right for university um so after sixth form i did take a gap year um i did have the intention to go to university though as i went into that gap year um, and that did give me a bit of um, work experience um, and a bit of money going into university as well. Um, and because I enjoyed economics at A-level, I could see myself doing that at university. Um, so I didn't really explore the apprenticeship route. Um, and I just thought economics at uni would, would have been a good fit for me. Okay. So... Can you tell us more about money student hacks? Yeah. Um, so, like I said, um, I saw a stat where it was four fifths of students worry about their money situation. Um, so I thought that that shouldn't be like that, and that needs to change. Um, so I set up the YouTube channel um, in the last couple of weeks um, to go through everything about student finance. So. Um, I've only got a couple of videos on there, but there's lots more planned and lots more going to come. Um, so bear with that. Um, everything from student loans, explaining what happens with that, um, to student budgeting, um, to explaining credit scores and why they matter, even when you're at university. Um, so it's all about building um, financial habits while you're young and taking that into later life so you can set off on the best foot after university because a lot of people come out um not in a great financial position after uni um so i'm just trying to help help them so obviously we had to have this call over skype because we can't have it in person due to covid19 so how are you holding up during covid19 um so life hasn't really changed that much for me i don't think um obviously all our university lectures and stuff like that um, got moved online, um, which I kind of prefer in some ways. Um, so all of that sort of side of things didn't really change that much except for me actually traveling to uni. Um, but it all got moved online um, and it worked worked fairly well. Um, so I was learning the same sort of things. And then I'm... Um, I've also got a part-time job as well. Um, that's uh, online sales of pet food, uh, and that's that's still running, obviously. Um, so I'm still going to work a couple of times a week, and so yeah, um, both my parents are still working. Um, so life hasn't really changed too much, to be honest, except and from really- not seeing my friendship group as much. You briefly said um, it affect you. All your courses are online. So has it drastically affected your course? Um, not no, not really. Um, instead of having lectures in person, they're done online. Um, they were live streamed, but t- teaching's all finished now. 
um that finished about three weeks ago so it was study leave anyway uh which you would have done at home um so the only difference is you can't revise in the library or in a coffee shop you, you do have to do it at home and then the exams all changed as well because we can't do those in person obviously mm. so they're all going to be online <laughs> but they get they gave us uh a few extra weeks so we could adjust to this um but i think that's all that's all going to be fine and so at this point we let students kind of do a summary of everything we spoke about you can put your at so where we can find you where we could message you about student finance and then kind of just a summary of everything we spoke about so if you just want to do that just in a quick two three minutes yeah. the floor is yours sure um so yeah, uh, if you're thinking about doing anything economics or finance related at Sussex, I'd definitely re recommend going for it. Um, there's a great nightlife in Brighton um, and you definitely won't be disappointed because um, I know people have quite high expectations when coming to Brighton, um, but I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, it's a beautiful place to live. Um, and Where can we find you? Uh, if... If you want to follow me, you can follow me on the Facebook page. That's where I'll be posting all the um, all the information regarding the channel, and then Student Money Hacks um, on YouTube. Okay, so if you just want to end the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'm plugged in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'm plugged in. Thank you. I'm